Hello everyone, today I'm adding a new scenario into my playlist of the um, uh, macro uh, splitting a master file um, as all the cases here. So um, it's kind of like an advanced version for this video, save multiple sheets as a separate PDF file. So basically what I did in this video is that I have a master spreadsheet and I uh, divide and split it into multiple sub uh, spreadsheets and then I save them into uh, one folder. In, um, in your desktop or in your folder just with one click. And then this is the code that I have and I have shared the code here. So um, I now have a new scenario, which is what if I do not want to save every single uh, file into one folder? What if I want to save them into separate folders? And this is also an issue um, when you, let's say you send this file to someone else and then you want them to save to their local drive but then you can see from the code that I'm sharing here because in this case it's saved all into one folder so it's essentially hard-coded so let's say I'm working on my computer I have to hard code it to like um, C drive Rachel's um, folder or anything but then let's say if you send it to Tom uh, Tom might have to revise this um, uh, pass for the files and he or she might not know how to do that. So in that case, what if we want the user to select which folders they want to put the file into or uh, we uh, we just want um, uh, we just want to put them into different folders. So this is the scenario that I'm um, talking about today. So this is still our master spreadsheet. Um, I do recommend that you go back to review this um, video before you come back to this one. So uh, because the core part is going to be the same, it's still splitting uh, this master spreadsheet by departments uh, into several sub tabs. And then what's different is that this time, um, I have different folders for them. So actually, um, look at my test uh, folder. I have subfolder for each of my um, departments, and I want to save them all into the respective folder. So how do I do that? So now, uh, with the current code that I have, um, I basically just export to my folder. I click on my VBA code. It asks me, you see, it first st um, still split the, uh, the master spreadsheet by departments, um, and it then pop up a window to ask me to um, to input the file path where I'd like to save my file. So in this case, for example, I want it to be in the finance folder. So the path for it is essentially e -test in, in my task folder um, and in this finance uh, folder. So what I do is that I copy and paste my path in here and then I go OK. And now I want you to see what happens after I click on OK. So I click OK says like the file is now saved with the name of finance uh, employee data in this folder and I go OK. Uh, it pops up for, uh, for HR to do the next but let's see if it's saved in finance. OK, so it is. Um, then uh, now let's come back to the next sub uh, department which is HR. So let's say I, I want to save it into the HR folder. So what I do is I paste my pass and then I just manually change it to HR or you can change it to anything else that you have and then go OK and then um, the note pop up to say it's OK. So now let's see what's happening with our HR folder. Here you go. So you have HR in this folder again. And then you basically do the same thing with, let's say, your IT. Uh, go OK. Um, your marketing, you want it to go into marketing. You go OK. And then you do the same thing for your rest departments, sales. OK. OK. Um, sales operations. So I'm not going to repeat everything here um, just for demonstration purpose, but I do want to see that right now, uh, whatever I have saved are uh, already in the respective folder. 
Um, I haven't done the last three ones, so you see the folder is still empty. Right. Okay, cool. So now let's figure out how to do this. So let's still go back to the code um, that I have. And then you don't have to copy it because as always, I'm going to paste this code into uh, my description. So you can just copy and paste directly. So actually, um, this is the code I have for the original, um, for the original, uh, uh, video that I have, um, and this is the addition, uh, the one for today's video. So essentially, uh, you'll find the only things that I added are uh, the pass and the file name, um, and um, this part. So I basically define my pass, my file name, um, and then I have my message box to say, okay, this is now saved under this name, under this pass. So what am I doing here? So first I define my pass. Um, and um, when I, everything I'm still splitting just like normal. Um, but when I try to save it into PDF, I define my pass as the input box. So in my input box, I put, please input your, the file pass that you want to save it to. Um, this is the text that's showing in my input box, right? So then uh, whatever I input there is going to be my pass. And now my pass uh, then um, goes into the file that uh, where I save. So this is where the pass, what you input in the input box eventually goes. Um, and then the file name uh, is basically whatever you have here. And then you basically use this part um, for the message box to confirm that you have saved this specific file on, in this name in this pass. So that's essentially it. So this part is the core part that I changed. And then uh, this part, the input box, I would say is the core change that we made um, compared to the last version. And then you can see now that uh, the file name is no longer a hard coded um, pass that only you can access and no one else can access. Now it's actually a dynamic uh, file pass that everyone can use to input and uh, save it to their own local drive. Okay, so that is everything that I want to share with you today. I hope that you'll find it helpful. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.